Hey everyone, welcome back to Finance Homefront with me, Craig. Today, I'm going to share seven power moves to bank $10,000 in just one year. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, this isn't financial advice, just some tips and tricks that have worked for many. If you find this video helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe to stay updated with more awesome content. Let's dive in and start saving. Okay, let's discuss seven strategies to accumulate $10,000 in a year. When you decide to accumulate $10,000 in a year, it is crucial to have a strategic plan. Here are several steps you can follow to achieve this financial milestone. Break down your goal into manageable milestones. At first glance, saving $10,000 may seem like an overwhelming task, especially if your income is close to the national average of around $50,000 per capita disposable income annually. To avoid feeling overwhelmed, divide your goal into smaller, manageable milestones. This approach can make your target more attainable in the short term. The simplest way to achieve this is by setting monthly savings goals. To accumulate $10,000 in a year, you need to save approximately $833 each month or around $192 per week. Examine your budget for opportunities to reallocate more funds towards savings. After breaking down your goal, spend some time evaluating your budget. Assess your monthly income versus your expenditures. Are there categories where you can reduce spending? Can you find ways to increase your income? The answers to these questions will help you devise a plan to start saving more effectively. Upon reviewing your budget, you will likely find areas where you can cut back on spending, thereby freeing up more money for savings. Here are some methods to reduce unnecessary expenses. 1. Cook at home. Preparing meals at home instead of dining out or ordering delivery can significantly reduce your monthly food expenses. 2. Cancel unused subscriptions. Identify and cancel subscriptions or memberships you do not use frequently enough to justify their cost. 3. Negotiate bills. For instance, try negotiating your car insurance bill or shopping around for a more affordable option. 4. Use alternative transport. Consider biking or using public transportation instead of relying on rideshare services. 5. Adhere to a budget. Avoid discretionary spending by sticking to a predetermined budget. Start by cutting unnecessary expenses in small steps. Do not deprive yourself of essential items or all the things you enjoy. However, be realistic about areas where you can spend less. This is key to allocating more of your budget towards savings. Increase your income. There is a limit to how much you can cut from your budget. If you have minimized your expenses but still fall short of your monthly savings goal, look for ways to boost your income. Options include working overtime, getting a part-time job, freelancing, or engaging in gig work. You could also start a side hustle during your free time, such as dog walking, tutoring, or becoming a virtual assistant. Select the right place for your savings. When you are ready to start saving more money, choose an account that helps your money grow. As of October 2023, the average annual percentage yield APY on a savings account is just 0.46%. However, numerous high yield savings accounts offer significantly higher APYs, which can enhance your savings. For even higher rates, consider putting your money in a Certificate of Deposit CD. CDs lock your money for a specified period with terms ranging from one week to 10 years. Some CDs offer interest rates 10 times higher than the national average, making them an excellent option to prevent spending and grow your savings. Automate your savings. After choosing a suitable account for your savings, make it as effortless as possible to deposit money into it. The best method is to automate your savings. If you receive income via direct deposit into your checking account, set up an automatic transfer every payday. Alternatively, speak to your payroll manager to ensure a portion of each paycheck goes directly into your savings account. Automating your savings helps prevent spending the money you intend to save. 
This can make it easier to stick to your budget. When money is diverted from your paycheck, you are less likely to consider it part of your disposable income. It aligns with the adage, out of sight, out of mind. If you do not handle the money, you are less likely to miss it. Automatic transfers to savings achieve this seamlessly. Celebrate your achievements. Saving money requires discipline and hard work. Each time you reach a savings milestone, celebrate your progress. This will keep you motivated as you strive towards your larger goal of saving $10,000 in a year. Strategies to save $10,000 in six months. Saving $10,000 in a year is a commendable goal, but what if you aim to save that amount in six months? To achieve this, you need to save approximately $1,667 per month, or about $56 per day. While this may seem daunting, with the right approach, it is feasible. Follow these steps to accelerate your savings. Use visual aids for motivation. One of the biggest challenges to saving a substantial amount of money is believing you can do it. Besides taking steps to cut expenses and increase your income, create an environment that makes saving large sums a regular habit. Create a vision board for your savings goal or place a sticky note with your goal on your desk. Visual aids can help keep you motivated and remind you that saving a large amount in a short period is possible. Start small, but start. The hardest part of working towards a challenging goal is getting started. Even if you can only save $10 initially, start there. This will turn your vision into reality. The more you save, the more momentum you will build to continue. Try a no-spend challenge. Once you begin, consider challenging yourself to save even more. One way to do this is by trying a no-spend challenge. Instead of merely reducing spending, eliminate all unnecessary expenses from your budget. This will not only help you save more quickly, but it can also change your mindset about spending. You might find you can live on much less than you previously thought, leading to a complete overhaul of your budget when the challenge ends. Engage in an income sprint. Similar to a no-spend challenge, you can work more intensively to earn additional money. Set a daily or weekly income goal. You can do something simple like working on a gig platform or selling unwanted items online. Treat this as a short-term sprint, dedicating a few hours or a few days a week to boost your savings. How long does it take to save $10,000? The time it takes to save $10,000 depends on your income and spending habits. The difference between your earnings and expenditures determines how much you can set aside towards your savings goal. This varies for everyone based on their personal situation. Cutting expenses, increasing income, and choosing the right savings vehicle are essential strategies to save $10,000 faster. Make progress every day and eventually you will reach your goal.